All right, we are back at it again with another video. This time it is a pack from the Pokemon Center. I will show you guys without doxing me out. See, from the Pokemon Center. All right. So in the pack, we have Twilight Masquerade. Well, the reason I ordered this was because it did include this promo. So for the same price, I would buy this at Walmart. I got the World Championship 2024 promo card, which is very awesome. It's my second one. If you guys seen my last video with the Greninja, I got this one with that one and ordered another one and was able to get this one. I have seen people get the Pikachu promo at GameStop, but unfortunately, I went to two different GameStop to test that theory out, and they said they had them, or at least had a promo card, and got wiped out very quickly. So there goes that. If you guys want them, as, if you're seeing this video as of now, they still have the promo card on the Pokemon Center. So I want to say I spent enough to be able to get the free shipping because that's when the value really kicks in. I think I want to say it was over $20. I might be wrong, but I want to say it's over $20. You get free shipping, which brings this to the normal price you would pay at Walmart. And you get that amazing promo card. I mean, it, it's a world championship promo card. Nothing crazy. It's not a hollow foil or nothing like that. But... It has two of two Pokemons we like, which is Mew and which is my wife's favorite, one of her favorite, and of course Pikachu, the amazing mascot. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and open up this booster packs booster bundle of Twilight Masquerade. Another set that it's becoming harder and harder to get. I, I, I like I like that. I'm not even gonna lie. That keeps it in there nice and centered. Like that. I wanna say I'm hoping that the ETVs change their system up. I wanna say I have seen somebody open the new ones. It look like it's a little different, so there's hope. But the ETVs, the, the cardboard that holds these down are known to cause a ding right on the top corner. Especially if you get them shipped from Amazon or wherever actually. And they throw them on there for some reason. Which you'll see in an upcoming video. I got a Twilight Masquerade ETV and it just came not in a box. It was just in... It was just in a bag type deal with not too much protector on it, so I'm I'm never too fond of those. But Pokemon Center ships it in a box, so that's definitely a plus. They ship this little thing in a box. The only thing I'm not quite fond of is they basically just throw the promo card in there. So I wish they had something to protect the promo card, but they don't. But let's go ahead and see if we can get anything in this booster bundle of Twilight Masquerade. We got high hopes. We'll see. For Fable. And will we get something out of this one? We got a Tanglu Reverse. So nothing out of that one. Put aside. Go ahead and put that to the side and move on to the second pack. Twilight Masquerade, I think it's a bigger set than the newest set. Which the newest set being. Oh crap. Shrouded Fable. Ooh, I had a brain fart there. Shrouded Fable. Shrouded Fable is a specialty set, and it is not the biggest set, but I'm still having a difficult time completing it. But it is all right. Wish me luck. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
maybe thumbs up equals a hit. Who knows? Maybe you guys give me a enough thumbs up. Maybe I'll start getting some hits on this video. We'll see. We got a beautiful nine tail. And there we go to finish that off. These up. I, I want to say these sets are probably put in probably put in evolving heroes or evolving fates. Oh, I'm over here evolving skies. I'm so many facts Pokemon cards, man. Are putting evolving skies to make it look like they have good pull rates. Just saying. They got away from getting the double bangers. I mean, some people finally got the God Pack. But Pokemon is definitely making the pool rates a lot harder. I don't know if they did that seeing that certain sets with the pool rates harder. That made people want them more because Evolving Skies is one of the hardest sets besides Evolving Pain. Their pool rates are very crazy. So, of course, the pack value goes up on those cards. And I don't, I don't know. But these new sets, their pool rates are crazy hard. Alright, Twilight Masquerade. I haven't pulled one of the main hitters from the, new, the last couple sets. I haven't pulled a big card since... Evolving Obsidian Flames. Yeah, Obsidian Flames. I got the charge art on that one. Of course, I'm not in it for the value, but that value tanked on that one. Still a beautiful card. Still set one to be graded. If you guys want to see what the grade of that one will be, I'm going to have my first submission coming back. I want to say there were, there were only eight cards. But, eight cards that have a, a nice place in my heart. They're not the craziest value cards. They're just some of my favorite cards in my collection. So, once I get those back, definitely stay tuned and check that out. And then, out of those, let me know which one's your favorite. Alright, so we did get a beautiful looking art rare. Beautiful. I want to say... I might have this in the Japanese version. We got an Arcanine. Don't quote me on that. I will tell you guys. I'm, I'm, let me see. Show you guys a little preview. We'll go ahead and get my stack. A little collector stack right there. There's my Japanese sets. Yep. So at least I have the Japanese. And... The American version of that one. That's very cool. We like collecting Japanese version as well. And every time I get one of each, it's pretty awesome. I want to say the uh, Ghastly Cart. I have both Japanese and the American version of that one. Which that is truly amazing. And now I have both versions of this one. Let me know if you guys like that card, App Applin. There you guys go. First pull of the day. I'll take it. Two more packs to go. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Let me know if you guys watch YouTube and eat any snacks. Let me know what kind of snacks you guys are eating on. Or if you guys are watching this at work. I don't know. If you guys have any idea, beautiful looking Abra, let me know. If you guys are here because you guys like our Halloween stuff, definitely let us know which content you like better, Halloween or Pokemon. We're trying to debate whether we want to do individual channels for both. We like everything Halloween, everything Pokemon, so we try to put everything on our channel and hope that it brings in people with common interest. So, well, no, people like us, you know what I mean? We are down to the last pack. 
go ahead. Let's see if we can finish off this last pack with some heat. Let's go ahead and uh, get that out of the way. Yeah, let's get it. Can we? Can we at least get something that I have in the Japanese set as well? That'd be pretty cool. All right, spin arc. Growlithe again. Polywag. Asshole. And let's see how we're going to finish this video out with. Frogged here. I think we have something back there. All right, you guys ready? All right, now we got a regular EX, but still a hit. I will take it, looks amazing. Very, very awesome. I'm gonna sleep this guy up. And there we go, those are the hits of the video. Let me know which one's your favorite. I personally like that one. So thank you guys so much. See you guys on the next one. Remember, customize the world and uh, thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want. Cost you guys nothing. It helps the channel in the long run. All right. You guys have a great one. See you guys on the next one. All right. Later.